we go back in history for this week in history. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, this week in history. Now, I, I cheated you a couple of days. I apologize. Today is the 12th, and this week that we're referring to ends on the 13th. So in 1964, four, the four young men from Liverpool decide to cross the pond and uh, kick off a wave. Number one, oh, yeah, I like to do these as kind of like trivia, but it's trivia on the spot. I come up with the question as I read it to you. So in 1964, four little young men from Liverpool come over here and create this craze, if you will. Do you know what the name of the craze was called? It's okay. I, I pause for a little bit, not just to, to swallow and breathe, but also to give you a chance to answer in the chat. And I know there's a really long delay. I, I understand there's a delay, but I give you a chance. And then I tell you the answer. But then I'm going to give you a follow-on question for this one specifically. Obviously, this was Beatlemania. The arrival of the Beatles to America. Can you name the original Beatles? This may or may not be a trick question. But you don't get any extra points. Moving on. In 1936, Jay Berwanger from the University of Chicago becomes the very first person officially picked in this event. The young man from the University of Chicago by the name of Jay Berwanger was the first person that this ever happened to. Want to take a guess? Hmm. I'm going to take a moment to hydrate because I just heard the old uh, dry mouth smack. I hate the dry mouth smack. Usually when I release the show, I, I edit all those out so you don't hear the dry mouth smack. And if you're into AMSR, ASMR, I, I, OSAR, I don't know what the heck it's called. If you like hearing the sounds of the deep, if you like hearing the sounds of the water rushing through my throat, you, you'll pick that up. I, I'm not proud of it. Uh, yeah, Jay Berwanger was the very first person ever chosen in the NFL draft. Good for you, Jay. In 1942, this thing was invented to help conserve fuel during the war. In 1942, this thing, now thing is tangible. Let me rephrase that. Let me try to make it better. This, this concept of doing things differently. Yeah. <laughs> A little dreamy, right? This concept of doing things differently was instituted as a way to conserve fuel during wartime. You want to take a guess? Do you? If you said daylight savings time, points. <laughs> In 1996, Gary Kasparov loses a chess match to AI. That's right. Russian chess king Gary Kasparov loses a chess match to AI. What was the name of said AI? Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to start doing that on a regular basis. Hmm. IBM's computer that beat Gary Kasparov, it was dubbed Big Blue. Big Blue. Air Blue. Air Blue. I, I try to keep my rants. Uh, here we go. 1990 in the country of South Africa. In the country of South Africa, this man was released after 27, I don't know which accent I'm going for there, 27 years in prison. In 1990, this man was released after spending 27 years in prison. Prison. 
Do you know who he was? I can give you a hint. Life's about to get a lot better for that young man who spent 27 years in prison in South Africa. If you ever watched a Matt Damon movie called Invictus, you may know. I want to say this name so bad, but I can't remember the name. The, the name that's on my lips right now is Samuel L. Jackson, which is very funny. And the more I think about it, it's funnier. But Morgan Freeman, daggone it. Let me try that again. Let me try that again. <laughs> it's The time is gone. The time is gone. Uh, no, it was uh, Nelson Mandela. Mandela. He is the one that was released for prison in 1990 after spending 27 years as a political prisoner. 1909, this organization that enjoys using the words colored people was organized. 1909, an organization that likes using the words colored people was formed. Do you know what it was? Can you guess? Hmm. So, taking in today, taking into account today's lexicon, if they were to change that and no longer use colored people, but uh, instead changed it to African American people, it'd be the National Association for African American National Association of African American People. The NAP. <laughs> Uh, wait, what if it's international, right? The National Association of African American People International. <laughs> the nappy. <laughs> All right, 1920. The League of Nations recognizes the perpetual neutrality of this country. There's a country out there, and it's, uh, it's neutral, perpetually do you know what it is? Do you have a guess? If you guessed Switzerland, nailed it. Points. Good job. Uh, You're correct. Touchdown.